It's been said before that there is a tool for every job, and that there is no problem out there too big that cannot be fixed without the proper application of the proper tool. But sometimes problems are too complex for just one tool, sometimes, like when you're Batman fighting a never-ending war against crime and villainy, you need an entire arsenal, and where else would you keep it but in your trusty utility belt? I'm Cave Joel, join me today as I take a closer look at Batman's utility belt. The utility belt is easy easily one of the oldest and most recognizable pieces of Batman equipment. With the hero since day one when he first premiered in the pages of Detective Comics number 27, all the way back in September 1939. The belt is used for a lot more than just keeping up the Dark Knight's pants. It also houses all of Batman's different crime-fighting devices. While no one is exactly 100% certain of its contents most of the time as Batman tends to change his loadout to better fit his current situation, the belt is usually stocked with Batarangs and holds Batman gas-powered grappling gun. While perhaps unremarkable looking at first glance, the belt has more in common with a D&D bag of holding capable of carrying whatever the writers feel Batman should need and much, much more. The belt has undergone a number of style changes over the years from just a simple yellow line around Batman's waist to being a much more bulky commando style set of pouches like in the pages of Batman Year One to being something more in line with a soldier's tactical wear like today. As a fighter, Batman's utility belt comes complete with all manner of weapons, including bat darts, thermite grenades, smoke bombs for confusing enemies or for making a quick escape, and sometimes even a lone marble for, well, you know, I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but when you're Batman, you can always find a use for a single marble. Now, in his role as a detective and keeping the peace, Batman also uses his utility belt to help carry around all his CSI tech, including but not limited to things like evidence bags, fingerprint dusting kits, and bat tracers, sometimes even bat cuffs. And those are just the obvious tools of the crime-fighting trade. What about some of the more outlandish things Batman has ever kept in his belt over the years? How about some kryptonite for battling rogue Kryptonian, silver nitrite, anti-fire foam, and everyone's favorite Adam West edition, bat shark repellent? Yes, Batman is indeed always prepared, even for sharks. Now, over the course of his 75 years, Batman's foes have always been very drawn to his utility belt as a symbol of Batman's strength. To deter thieves, Batman has placed all manner of security measures, including special locks that only he can open, as well as powerful stun gases. Writers also use this as a chance to ratchet up tension. Oh no, Batman lost his utility belt. How is he possibly going to get out of this one? The utility belt has become such an important piece of Batman's crusade on crime and villainy that all of his sidekicks and affiliated Bat family characters have their own variation on the belt. I swear, it's like a membership card or something. You become a Robin, you get a belt. And that everyone is a little primer on probably the most super accessory out there. I hope you all learned a little something from the video, and until next time, I'm Gabe Joel, and I will see you next time.